Some people call it an ogive, some people call it an ogive, but it doesn't matter. Let's take a look at what is happening. The table below shows the monthly salaries of 100 employees at Adams Law. The question 1.1, draw an ogive, an ogive, a cumulative frequency graph. I think let's use that, cumulative frequency graph. But what do you guys think? Is it an ogive or is it an ogive? Hmm. Uh, to represent the data given in the table. So monthly salary in thousand rand and then number of employees. And then in the last column, we have the cumulative frequency. In order to draw the cumulative frequency graph, we need the cumulative frequencies first so that we can do that. And how do we do that? Let's take a look. So zero to 10,000, we have three employees. So the cumulative at that point is three. 10 to 20,000 is four employees. So the cumulative is three plus four so that is seven and then we move to 20 to 30 uh, there's 13 employees so seven plus 13 that gives us 20 i'm sure you can follow the trend now so we're gonna have 20 plus 20 gives us 40 40 plus 21 gives us 61 93 plus 5 98 plus 2 100 so that is the cumulative frequency so now we can draw our community frequency graph. When we come to our provided graph here, we already have the cumulative frequency on the Y and the th salary on the X. So let's take a look. 0 to 10, the cumulative frequency is 3. So here is where we have 3. So 0 to 0 is always is, is 0. And then 10 to... 0 to 10, we know that the cumulative frequency is 3. So if this is 10, we know that we have 5 here. So 3 should be somewhere there, right? And then 10 to 20, we have 7. So 7 should be somewhere here. And then 20 to 30 is 20. So 20 to 30 is 20, right there. And then... 30 to 40 is 40. 30 to 40 is 40. So we go up there. And then 40 to 50 is 61. 40 to 50 is 61. So somewhere there, just slightly above the line, right? And then 50 to 60, we have 73. 50 to 60, we have 73. Should be somewhere there. And then 60 to 70, we have 85. So 85 is there. And then 70 to 80, 93. 70 to 80, 93. 93 is there. And then 80 to 90, we have 98. 80 to 90, we have 98. Just slightly above 100. And then 90 to 100, we have 100. So we have it here. So that's uh, those are our coordinates now we just need to plot them so let's go ahead and do that so let's see um let's join all the dots and see what we end up with right so there we go there we go uh, that is our cumulative frequency that is 1.1 let's take a look at 1.2 use the Cumulative frequency graph <laughs> to determine the number of employees that receive less than 35,000. So let's take our ruler because we're going to need it and go to where we find 35,000. So 35,000 is here at this point. That is 35,000, right? Because that's the monthly salary in thousands. So 35,000, we draw a line until we touch the cumulative frequency. So let's go up. Well, it's too thick. Let me just do this right so thirty-five thousand. Uh, let's go up and then now we go now we go left to find the cumulative frequency so somewhere around 30 31 there 29 30 31 yeah depending on how you plotted your lines right so what is the question saying use the cumulative frequency graph to determine the number of employees that receive less than thirty-five thousand. So it's 30, 31, 29, somewhere there. But I think I'm slightly above. So let me go with 31. 
So my the number of employees that receive less than thirty five thousand, um, with depending on my uh, cumulative frequency, the way I drew my cumulative frequency uh, is thirty one, right? And then for some people it's gonna be thirty. You know, some people for some people it's gonna be twenty nine. Uh, depending on what you have so less than thirty five thousand so less than thirty five thousand yeah so thirty you know thirty one twenty nine somewhere there yeah I'm going with thirty one because I'm slightly above yeah you know uh, I I'm almost touching thirty two there you know so that's why I'm saying thirty one so reasonable and then if we were looking for the number of employees that and more than then we would see one hundred minus thirty which will give us 70 right uh, determine the median of the data determine the median of the data so how do we determine the median of the data uh, when you are given a cumulative frequency graph uh, the total cumulative frequency is 100 just like we saw when we were sketching the cumulative frequency graph so halfway through 100 uh, we have so that is 100 divided by 2 so we have 50 and when the cumulative frequency is 50, that is where we are expecting to find the median of the data. If it was 70, then we're going to divide that by 2 and find that midpoint. So here, uh, because it is 50, uh, we would go to 50 along the cumulative frequency. So that is, let me just change the color. Right. So we go from 50, we touch the cumulative frequency graph, and then... We go down so when we go down we end up at 45,000 so the answer to 1.3 the median salary is 45,000 and then 1.4 the monthly salaries of five employees in the interval 80 to 90,000 are given below two employees from the interval 70 to 80,000 are promoted and receive monthly salaries of 83,000 and 84,000. Okay, determine the mean monthly salary in that interval 80 to 90,000. So, in addition to one, two, three, four, five, we have two from 70 to 80 that have been promoted. So, we also have 83,000 here. We also have 83k and we also have. 84k because they've been promoted and now they're earning uh, between 80 to 90 right uh, determine the mean monthly salary in the interval 80 to 90,000 so we just add those numbers and we divide by n the number of salaries so that is 84,000 plus 85,000 plus 87,000 plus 89,000 plus 83 thousand plus eighty four thousand so we have one two three four five six seven uh people there um so when we divide that by seven so the mean here that i'm getting is eighty five thousand eight hundred and fifty seven point one four uh, the mark location is 1, so I don't think it's even necessary to show the work in here. So that is 1.4.1. 1.4.2, uh, calculate the standard deviation in this interval. So if I'm going to need to find the standard deviation, I will need to enter the data in my calculator. That is the easier way. So I'm doing that right now. If you don't know how to use the calculator to find standard deviation, mean mode, and so on, watch my other videos on stats because I've done you know a couple of videos where I actually show my calculator and how you do these things so I'm hitting alpha mode right on my case your calculator and then two is stat so I hit that and one says one variable so I hit that and then now I can substitute my data points so I've entered the data I press AC shift one and then i press uh four for variance right and i think standard deviation is option three on my calculator i can see the sign in there and then when i press that i get the standard deviation being equals to 2294 
1.63, right? And then 1.4.3 is the percentage of employees whose salary lie within one standard deviation of the mean. Lies within one standard deviation of the mean. So we know that we're going to see mean minus standard deviation. Mean plus standard deviation. We want to find our range for one standard deviation within the mean, right? So the mean is 85857.14 minus 2294.6. I'm getting 83,562.54, right? And then plus, let me see what I get. I'm getting. 88,151.74. So I'm looking for the percentage of employees. So obviously I need the number of employees first so that I can ultimately find the percentage. So what is less than 85, 83,562? 83,562. This person and it's less than that because 83,000 is less than 83,562. And who earns more than 88,151? These two people earn more than 88,151. 88, so three of the seven people. So three of the seven people. So that is uh, lie within. So three is the people that lie outside one standard deviation so the people that lie within one standard deviation of the mean is four so four over seven multiplied by hundred so four over seven um my calculator is still in stats four over seven multiplied by 100 uh, that is 57.14 percent so that is the percentage of employees whose monthly salary lie within one standard deviation of the mean there we land.